Points are a common type of lithic artifact recovered from Middle Stone Age contexts. It is often assumed that Middle Stone Age points were attached to the end of wooden shafts and used to hunt large game. There is evidence from the later part of the Middle Stone Age that at least some points, probably manufactured by modern Homo sapiens, were used in this way. Neanderthals in the Middle Paleolithic of Europe probably also hafted points to spear shafts. Numerous points have been recovered from the archaeological site of Katupan 1, which is located in central South Africa. The site has multiple strata, each representing a different period of time. Stratum 4A has been radiometrically dated using a method called optical simulated luminescence to 500,000 years ago. These points from Katupan 1 are at least 300,000 years older than points from other assemblages that have been identified as spear tips. Also, the Katupan 1 points were probably manufactured by different species of hominin, perhaps Homo heidelbergensis. So I'm testing the hypothesis that points from Katupan were used as thrusting spear tips. And this is part of my dissertation research on the entire lithic assemblage from the site. One of the lines of evidence that will help evaluate this hypothesis is the distribution of damage along the edges of the points. Experimental research in collaboration with researchers from Arizona State University and the University of Cape Town shows that when replicated points are hafted onto wooden shafts and used to spear animal carcasses, edge damage is concentrated at the point tip. We use ArcGIS and low power magnification to map where the small flake scars occur along the edges of each point. When damage is mapped for all the points used in the spearing experiments, you can see the damage occurs much more frequently at the tips of the points, and there is less damage along the edges. Our preliminary results show that the Katupan 1 points exhibit the same distribution of edge damage. Damage is concentrated at the tips of the points, and there is less damage along the edges. So we're also looking for other lines of evidence that support this hypothesis. It's important that we rule out post-depositional processes and natural processes that could give us the same patterns of damage, and also rule out other possible functions for the stone tools that could give us the same patterns.